Okay, so first of all, this blog post here explains what a plum pudding chart is, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. But basically, a plum pudding is a type of dessert which has bits of dried fruit in it. And so that is where this chart gets its name, because it is a circle with lots of smaller dots inside of it. And if we scroll down this page, then we can see this example here of a plum pudding chart. And then also we have another example here. And in order to create a plum pudding chart in Excel, you need to know what the X and Y coordinates are of all of these smaller dots. So if we scroll further down, then we come to this link here, which takes us to this page. And then at the top here, we can click on Show Coordinates. And this gives us the X and Y coordinates in order to make a hundred dots arranged in a circle. So I'll press Control A to select all of this, and then Control C to copy, and open up Excel, and Control V to paste. At the moment, all of these numbers are in one column. So I'll go to Data and Text to Columns, and then choose Delimited and Next, and the delimiter will be a space, and then Next and Finish. And now this is separated into three columns. So this here is the number, then these are the X values, and these are the Y values. I'll then select both of these columns and go to Insert and insert a scatter chart. And we end up with a hundred dots. I'll then double click on this chart and we will change the formatting. So first of all, we need to take the axes and make sure the minimum and maximum, instead of being automatic, are fixed values so they don't change. The minimum needs to be minus one and the maximum needs to be one. Then we also need to change the horizontal axes as well. Once we've done that, we can then delete the parts of the chart that we don't need. So we don't need the title or the grid lines and we no longer need the axes either. Then go to Format and we need to make this chart into a square. So I'll change the height to be 10 centimeters and the width to also be 10 centimeters. At the moment, this chart still has a border around it. So I will go to border and change that to no line. And now we have 100 dots all arranged in a circle. I'll now go to Insert and Illustrations and Icons and search for Person and select this Person icon here and Insert. Then I'll change the color of this to make it a light blue and also decrease the size. Then Control C to copy, select the blue dots in the chart and Control V to paste. At the moment, these icons are still overlapping a little bit, so I'll decrease the size slightly and copy it and paste it again. Now we have a hundred icons, we next need to make some of them different colors. So in order to do that, I need another column here and we'll put one in this and then drag it down until I get to 48. Then I'll put zero in the next cell and double click to send that the rest of the way down the table. Then we'll do equals if, and the logical test will be if this is equal to one, then we want it to copy the Y value here, and if not, then we want the NA error. And close brackets and enter, and then double click to send that down. So now anytime we have the number one, we get another copy of the Y values. Then once it changes to zeros, we have NA errors instead. And that will stop those points from being plotted. So we can now 
select all of this column and copy it and go back up to the chart and select the chart and control V to paste. Of course, these all come in as orange dots, so we need to change them to icons again. But before we do that, we have to change the color. So I'll change it to this blue instead. Then control C to copy, select the orange dots and control V to paste. And now we have some of them as different colors. But what about if you wanted them to be randomly spread out instead? In order to do that, I will put in another column here and use the rand formula. And this will give us random numbers between 0 and 1. I will then copy all of these and then paste as values to get rid of the formulas so the numbers don't change. Then select both of these columns and go to sort and filter and sort smallest to largest. And this makes it so all of the zeros and ones are randomly spread out. And that makes all of the blue icons randomly spread out as well. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a plum pudding chart in Excel. And that is everything.